Good morning, good afternoon. Okay, so in this example, we will speak about friction. Okay, so it's a good uh, example to review. So the question is to find the force P, the largest force P, before motion occurs. So motion occurs, what does that mean? It means either the block A slip to the right, either the block B, he cannot slip to the right because he is attached at T, but he can rotate. Maybe the block A could even maybe rotate, but uh, where the rope is attached, it will be difficult, but we can uh, look at tipping too for that. Some data that we have, we know that the block A has a mass of seven kilograms. So the block A, seven kilogram, and the mass of the block B, it's 10 kilogram. Okay, so the first steps, I always uh, advise to for the first steps to do free body diagrams and to look at the different forces. So let's try to do all the free body diagrams just below the images. So we have the block B. Don't make uh, your body too small because of that it will be very hard to see. So that's the block B. And we have the block A. Oops. Block B, block A, a little bit longer. And the pulley C. And the pulley D. Okay, let's draw the forces on that. The forces in blue, the forces that we know. So block B, we have a weight in the middle, WB. And it's equal to 10 times, so WB, it's equal to 10 times 9.81. 9 so 98.1. And at the block A, we have the weight of the block A, that is equal to 7 times 9.81. Grab my computer at the same time, 7 times 9.81. So this is 60. 8.67. That's Newton. Newton, Newton. Okay. And after that, all the other forces, we don't know them. So let me try, uh, write them in red. Block A, let's look at the block A first. We have, so the force P is going down. So we have a force P that is going down. Let's call that the P final. And on this, on this side, we have a force that I will call PD. It's not the same because there's some friction in the pulley. PD on this side, PD on the other side, and on the right, a force PC, and same, different, because we have friction in the pulley. So let's write the coefficient of friction, mu D equals 0 0.1, and mu C is equal to 0 0.4. This PC is the same force than this one, PC. Okay, so for the direction of the friction, the block A is going to the right, tend to go to the right, so the force of friction is going to the left on both sides. Let's call that force of friction FF um, on the block A, and this one FF on the block B. So this force of friction FFB is the same as this one, but on, in the opposite direction, like this. And normal force, let's just use another color because we have a lot of information on, on this uh, free body diagram. So let's put the force in A. We don't know where, but somewhere below. And we have N B. N B. Let me just change my mind for one thing. Let me draw the force NB on this side and NB on this side. And one more force that we don't know, that the tension there on the top. Let's call that T. I think I have all my unknown. Mm -hmm. Okay. And some dimension. 
we have the 400 millimeter and the 300 millimeter. Here we go. And we have two coefficients of friction. We have the mu A equals 0 0.3 and the mu B on the top, that is equal to 0 0.4 between the uh, boxes A and B. A lot of information, but we will be we will be good. Okay, so what can we do to begin to solve? Um, I will begin with the block B. Why? Because at the block B, we have some information. We have the weight WB. And how many unknowns do we have? One, two, and three. And we have three equations. The force on X, the force on Y. And either the equation of friction if it's slipping, or either the equation of moment if it's uh, tipping. So let's do first scenario. Block B is sleeping. And what I mean sleeping, or I should say block A is sleeping on B. Block A is sleeping on or below B. Okay. So let's do that at the first scenario. So when the block A is sleeping, the first equation that we will use is the sum of the forces on the y. It's equal to zero on the block B. So we are on block B. Okay. Let me write it. So that's we use the Friedman diagram of the block B and the three the equation of equilibrium on the block B. So sum of the forces on the y is equal to zero. We have so we will use x and y. So we have minus W B plus N B is equal to zero. So N B is equal to 98.1 Newton. Okay. Now we assume it's slipping. So we have force of friction at B that is equal to mu B time N B. So it's equal to 0 0.4 times 98.1. So the force of friction at B is equal to 0 0.4 times 98.1, 39.24 Newton. Okay. So one, two, and third equation, sum of the forces on X is equal to zero. So when we do sum of the forces on X equal to zero on the block B, we have minus T and we have plus FFB is equal to zero. So I mean that T is equal to 39.24. I try to use the maximum at uh, the space that is available. So first possibility, T equal 39.24. Let's check. Is it possible that the block B and A are sleeping? Like the block A is sleeping below the block B. Check. I call that a check. Oops. If it's sleeping, the force of friction and the normal force are below the block. So th this is somewhere there, right? Somewhere below. So let's find the distance x if the normal force um, is still uh, below. So let's find this little x there. For that, we will use the moment about, let's call this point, b. So if I do sum of the moment about B, it's equal to zero. We have the distance X time WB, and that's a negative moment. And we have plus the distance of 400 millimeter time T, it's equal to zero. So we have X that is equal to 400 time t, that is equal to 39.24, and divided by wb, wb is 98.1. So x is equal to 400 times 39.24 and divided by 98.1, that's 160, and that's millimeter because 400 is millimeter. 
So now let's compare this distance x with the size of the box. The size of the box is 300 millimeter. This is more than 150 millimeter. So it's not possible that the box is slipping because if it's slipping, the normal force is outside um, the, the bottom of the box. So let's check if it's, if it's tipping. Second ID, so second scenario. I need to get enough space. So let's try the second scenario. Block, the block on the top, block B is tipping. Block B is tipping. So I'm still looking at the block B, okay? So now if it's tipping, it means that, let me use another color, maybe in orange, it means that the NB is just there, just on the corner. So the, you see if A going to the right, this one will tend to rotate in this direction and the last contact will be with the corner B, okay? So bug B is tipping. We can, so we have NB, we have FFB and we have T, so we, let's use sum of the moment about B, it's equal to zero. So what we have, we have the distance 150 millimeter, so that's half of the distance from W, time WB, and that's a negative moment, plus T time the uh, vertical distance, the 400, it's equal to zero, okay, it's a time. So it means that T, it's equal to 150, Time WB, 98.1, and divide by 400. So I mean that T, it's equal to 150 times 98.1 divided by 400. That's 36.79 Newton. And you see, it's less than the um, force T. Oops. And this one. So it means that it's tipping. Okay, when it's tipping, the force for friction is not necessary, it's not the maximum force of friction, so we need to find the force of friction. So for that, we will use some of the forces on x equals zero, still on the block B, and we have minus T plus FFB, that is equal to zero, so the force of friction it's equal to T, so it's equal to 36.79 Newton. So we have our force of friction. And we need also NB, NB, uh, because we will need to put NB on the block A after that. So for the block NB, we do some of the forces on Y, it's equal to zero. So we have minus WB and plus NB, it's equal to zero, so NB. It's equal to WB 98.1 Newton. And we can use those two forces for um, the block, the through diagram of the block A. Almost there. Let me let me go a little bit to the left so I will have some space. Okay, just before going to the left, let's write, let's write below what we found. We found that F F B, it's equal to 36.79 Newton. And we found that NB, it's equal to 98.1 Newton. Okay, so now we will use the free at A, but we have some new information. So let me read you the free body at A. Bigger there. We know that WA, it's equal to... Uh oh 68.67. We know that NB is just on this side, just on the corner, and NB is equal to 98.1. We can write distance. We know that it's 150 millimeter. Right? We know the force of friction going to the left. FFB and FFB it's equal to 36.79 Newton 
and the forces that we don't know. PC and A somewhere below and FFA. Okay, let's do the first. Um, shh, oh, sorry, I have a little one close to me. Okay, let's find an A because anyway, an A will be the same um, if it's slipping or if it's slipping. So an A. When we do sum of the forces on Y equals zero, we have minus W A. We have minus N B plus N A. It's equal to zero. So N A it's equal to so W A it's sixty eight. 167, try to take your uh, exact number, and B is 98.1, so this is equal to 166.77. Now, let's do the force of friction. Let's assume it's slipping. Slipping block, that's a block A, block A is slipping on the ground. Oh, no. Okay, block A is sitting. So force of friction A at A is equal to the mu A times NA. So it's equal to 0 0.3 times 167.77. So this is oops, times 0 0.3. Take the coefficient of friction that is um, below. So this is FFA. It's equal to 50. Point almost zero Newton. Okay, we mm, we don't know this dimension there, so it's hard to check if it's tipping. Let's do now the sum of the forces on x is equal to zero. Okay, so sum of the forces on x equal to zero. What do we have on x? We have minus FFB because it's going to the left plus the um, the force in the rope to the pulley and minus FFA it's equal to zero so PC it's equal to 36.79 plus 50.0 PC it's equal to 86 point let's say eight oops let's see Okay, so if we want to, to do the tipping, we are missing some information for this example. We need this uh, distance. We need uh, the half of the distance uh, below. But the block is so wide and this H is very low, so it will not uh, tip. I think that there are assumptions. So now we have PC. So this is the first PC. We need to come back on our pulley. So we have the force PD that is equal to the force PC times the exponential of the angle that is pi divided by 2 times the mu that is equal to 0 0.4. So PD is equal to, so you take the PC that is equal to 86.8 and I forget my, um, my decimals time the exponential of so pi oops okay pi times 0 0.4 divided by 2 this is 162.7 newton and now let's make it in green so this was the pulley and now p the final force p is equal to pd we don't My know little one begins to be tired. So this angle is so pi. That's a oh, shh. ten second, please. This is pi times zero point one. So the force p is equal to one sixty two point seven times the exponential of and power pi times zero point one. This is two twenty two twenty three. Newton. Here we go. We have the final force. So that was a long problem, but very interesting, right? So we try tipping, slipping. Let me see if we can go back on a, all the steps that we did. That was a long video, sorry, but was it? Oops. Here we go.
So let's come back on the steps. Free body diagrams, that's the key. Free body diagrams, including the pulley, everything, right? After that, we walk with the block, with the block on the top, with the block B. We assume it was sleeping. We check it's not sleeping. So we found that, yes, in fact, it's tipping. And after that, with the force of friction B and uh, B, we are did the free body diagram of the block A. That is also this one. And we assume this is sleeping because it's very large, very wide. And we are missing some information to check, but it's uh, tipping. It's sleeping. We found P, the P attached to the block. And after that, we come back on the pulley. Pulley at C, angle of pi divided by two. Uh, force of friction of 0 0.4, coefficient of friction of 0 0.4 in the pulley. And after that, the pulley at D, angle pi, because it's a semicircle, and uh, mu equals 0 0.1. So exponential of pi times 0 0.1. And for the very last steps, we find P equal to 23 Newton. Here we go. So that was the, uh, the problem of review for friction. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.